I made a donation and I got to uh, get some veggies to feed the piggies. Let me get some piggy lips. You guys thinking about adopting? Guinea pigs are awesome. There's definitely a need. Hey, it's Scotty. I'm here at the open house for the We Companion Shelter. It's their brand new space. They still have the old space for health checks and everything, but they've expanded into a new space. This is where there's much more animals. It's a whole storefront, so when you come for adoptions, this is where you can go to get all the stuff that you're gonna need. We're gonna talk to Fenella. She's gonna show us around, but let's just check out the amazing, amazing storefront and the entire shelter. Hey, Fenella. <laughs> Hey everyone! Can't believe you're here on this yes. very special day. I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Today is our opening day of our new animal shelter here in San Diego. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, you know, it's been 24 years in the making. We have dreamed of being able to open a, a specialty center just for our small animals. And we just decided it was go for it or go home. And now is the perfect time. So we're so excited that you've come and visited us and you're looking at us. Do you have time to show do you have time to show me around? I do. Well, I can show you uh, some of the animals yeah. that we have at, here at the show. And then I know you got to go back to schmoozing because there's a, a full house schmooze. here. I do but schmooze well. Schmooze with us for but, a few minutes. Well, I mean, basically, over yeah. on this side, we have our male guinea pigs. Okay. And please don't ask me all their names. But I love I that you've got the big CNC cages for them. These were created on two feet by five feet um, shelves. We yeah. designed and built these ourselves, just one sheet of coroplast per level. We have three levels. So if you're a guinea pig lover and you're looking for a way to house your animals yeah. more, uh, I guess, practically, this is a great way. And it's not that difficult to do. You just need your cubes and your car plus. Yeah, it's and really nice. so we have our male guinea pigs here. We actually have some bunnies. So all of these are all your boy piggies? They will be all filled with okay. some of our boy piggies. This is not all our animals, sure. by the way. And then we have some wonderful bunnies that have been in our rescue for years. Hi. That's Tootco. Hi, Tootco. Tootie. Hi. Look, it's a bunny butt. And of course, we're looking for indoor homes for the bunnies. Of course. So if somebody, before we get too far into it, into the tour, if somebody, if somebody wants to uh, adopt or they want to come visit, what, what's the process? Well, we're not an open shelter that everyone okay. can just wander in any time of yeah. the day. We have staff challenges, of course, like everyone. Yes. So if you want to come and visit our animals with the hope of adopting, yep. um, you make an appointment. You fill in the adoption application. Okay, form so I'll put, the, I'll put the website URL right here. And Perfect. the adoption application, you'll talk to a couple of our folks, and then you'll be invited to come and meet. And what if somebody just wants to pick up some supplies? Can they just show up on your on your on the days that the store is open? Exactly. Our store is open on Wednesdays, 2 to 8, and on Saturdays from 9 to 4. And all we sell are supplies for small animals, guinea pigs, rats, hamsters, mice, chinchillas, and rabbits. Awesome. And if they're watching this video many years from now, just check the website for the, yes. the current hours. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And, and we also do wellness checks. Got it oh. too, and we trim nails. So if you're scared of trimming those, that's nice. And nails, how much do those cost? That's at the moment based on donation. No appointment. Okay. Just come on in when we're open. Just okay. bring your animals in. We'll take care of them. For and you. if somebody wanted to donate, but they're not local, but they wanted to donate, they could do that like on the website. We have many different ways to donate. 
donate, there are ways on our website, and you can always email me, wecompanions at AOL.com, if okay. you have any specific questions. And, and you guys have links to, like, T-shirts if they want to get T-shirts, too? We do have some rather fabulous T-shirts, okay. yes. Cool, because yes. some people, I think that's a really great way to donate is... If you wear a T-shirt, you're donating money, but you're also raising awareness. Absolutely. People are like, "What's We Companions?" And there's Aaron. Absolutely. And who's she holding? Who's that? Well, Aaron has little Munchie there. Hi, Munchie. He's our lethal white blind little boy, probably Hi, Munchie. probably deaf. I don't know. He screams at me when he knows it's food time. Hi, Munchie. He's pretty well known in the rescue. He's yeah. one of our mascots. He's famous. He is. Especially Munchie. those who follow LA. Shake his hand. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Come see some of our Show me. chinchillas. Chinchillas? Chinchillas? I heard they were sleeping. Let's see if I can wait just for the one up. How's it been going? Yeah. A lot of people, yeah. <laughs> Vanilla was interviewed by the news. The news? Yeah. What channel? ABC, ABC, Channel 10. Wow, maybe they'll put She's it on YouTube. Pika. What? Pika. She's about 11 years old. She's Hi. a sweet, sweet, sweet little chinchilla. Focus. They have huge Focus whiskers. on the whiskers. <laughs> she's 11, but you know she's got many, many years ahead of her. Hi. Look at that tail. She's oh, adorable. She's so soft. Yeah. Wow. So is she just the store mascot, or is she available nope, for adoption? she's available for adoption. Oh, she's she is adorable. adorable, yes. Look at that poop. Look at that poop. Is she a nibbler? No, not normally. She'll probably prove me wrong, but... Lord, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. None of my pigs will really submit to that. So that's Pika, just one of our oh, many chinchillas that we have here at the moment. Yay. You can look at those guinea pigs down there. Nice Hi. We built this page, Scott. Wow. We built this cage with the compost and just, you Look know, pipes from PVC. Home Depot. PVC, wow. That's genius. Yep. Yep. That's genius. And it rolls. It's on wheels. How did you get the wheels to go into this thingy? Well, I don't know. Karen managed it. She got some special uh, attachments. Wow. And Let's take a peek under here. It's a six by two, so wow. it, it holds. That's genius. That really. <laughs> that is is seriously. This was worth the price of admission. Just just seeing this. Isn't it nice? And it's so easy to make. Yeah. Boom. My brain's exploding. Maybe I'll have to do a video about that. Because I've got piggies on the floor, and I'm always sliding the cage. Yeah. You can yeah. put your storage under there. Yeah. Your hay and food and stuff it's great. like that. That's where I can stash that bale of hay that I'm going to bring. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Okay, stop distracting us with your cuteness. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we got lots and lots and lots of guineas. Look at the guineas. Hi. Look at the cute guineas. So these are, oh wow, these are girls? a beautiful pair of girls. She's amazing. That's a senior girl and her little friend is younger. Beautiful Roan, they're both Abyssinians. Yeah. They look related. Tilly, Tilly and Nuga. Tilly and Nuga. But, but and they're not actually related. Wow. But aren't they gorgeous? They're sisters from another mister. Probably. <laughs> so there you Aww. go. And they're just rows and rows of guinea pigs. Rows and rows of piggies. And then here we have our hamsters. The hammy wall. So are these all Syrians or are they Syrians and dwarfs or mixed? And everybody gets a huge wheel. Yeah, well, we try and give the appropriate wheel to yeah. everyone. Look, here's a Syrian stuffing her cheeky cheeks in there. Oh my goodness, hello. What are you eating? Oh my gosh, those are some serious cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at those cheeks. She's got the, the rodent blocks in it. Hi. Look, I look how big they are. I need to pick some of those up. Wow. Con congratulations. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> About the Reese companions, I took a photograph because I didn't what want to steal it. What magazine is this? Whoa. Local one and they University one. City News? That's my favorite university magazine. <laughs> <laughs> but they they printed it, so yeah. we're very thrilled. Oh, nice. Very thrilled. So okay, so you have Rinchy's over them. there. Hi Munchy. Munchy's in a mood, he's nibbling me. Munchy. And we have a, a place to display our artwork now, our wonderful artwork by Yves yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Michael is here fresh. She is a, a young uh, artist here in San Diego. Wow. Who's supported us for many years. <laughs> Trying to get some of the. Do I need to pack jokes? For any animals? Anything living in there? Hi, Munchie. And Munchie's friend is Cantal. 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 <laughs> he's from our Beaumont rescue, so that's why he's got he's blind too. Yeah, I remember that. That's Rigsy. I feel like he's fluffier than the last time. Okay. Let's put on some weight. In his bangs. So I'll just talk about the front. Yeah, show me. So, when you adopt an animal from our shelter, yes. if you need any basic supplies, you'll be able to purchase them at the same time. People come to the rescue and they say, I want to buy everything we from you guys. We can supply everything to them. Okay, show we, me. Well, we... But, well, okay, okay, you have everything, but do you have, like, an assortment of wicker balls? We only have the basics. <laughs> That's toys. exactly what I was talking this about. Is basic toys for a variety of animals. Yeah. And so every every animal needs some kind of toy. Just like every every creature needs a companion. Exactly. You got it. You got it. Water, Water bottles. bottles. Yes. Food. These are my favorites because the spout sticks out. We do have some supplements. We have feeding bowls. My uh, my Ron is on this after his stone removal. Yeah, I so. <laughs> and we're now um, stocking the senior oh, the se pig. And what is the difference between senior and... Um, uh, actually, obviously, I'm not an o Oxbow rep, but basically this is less calcium, more fiber, oh. and some additional sort of treaty treat things that okay. makes it really yummy. And the young is basically like the opposite. More calcium... Yeah. Yeah. So these are for oh, the seniors for over four years old. Oh. Hmm. And we have all your beautiful feed bowls. Wow. We have the sand because you you know that hamsters have to yes. bathe in the sand. I do. And a lot of the Syrians will use this as their little bathroom corner. Yes. You can actually easily potty train hamsters with the sand. Wow. So we get. And there's still sand. so much space. Look at me. And uh, we have the rat blocks and the treats. We have some Christmas stockings. So are the rat blocks different from the hamster blocks? or? No, these are appropriate for rats, hamsters, and mice. Okay. And they're different quantities of protein in each bag. So it okay. depends on the age of the animal ah. that you're adopting okay. as to what we will sell you. Interesting. And we have some some toys. Oh. Our selection of bedding. Okay, but I see this wood bedding, but I don't see cedar. Oh well, you know, Scott, that cedar is actually <laughs> toxic for us. I was animals. just trolling you, but. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no cedar. No ever cedar, but aspen and pine are good. Yeah, and people are very tempted with the. Oh, I see. It says kiln dried. And yes. dust free. You want to make sure it's kiln dried, and actually the aspen is too. Okay. And we want to make sure that you get the right size of wheels for your hamsters, please. Yes. The correct size. Tell and, me. Well, 
you're talking a 12 inch for a Syrian hamster. Okay. Um, well, how, we, how, how big of a wheel for, for guinea pigs? Really, Scott? <laughs> no wheels, no balls. Nothing oh, like I don't that. know if you saw my most recent video. I'll yes, put it right here where about, I smashed. Yes. I smashed. I, I went out in the desert and I smashed that yeah. ball. Yeah. So finding the right size of wheel for your hamster is crucial. So what about for a little dwarf? Because I got a bunch of dwarves. Well, this would be a good size for a dwarf. A nine and a half would be a fine okay. size for it. And these, these we've tried to select the ones that are the quietest yeah. because, as you know, mm -hmm. a squeaky wheel is just a pain in the bum. Yes. So we try <laughs> to um, find the quiet ones. which we And that's the smallest size quiet. that you have. Um, I, I think we have a couple of eight inch. But okay, yes. but that's basically yes. it. Okay. And this and is beautiful. This is a cabbie cage? Yes, it is. This is a cabbie cage. Wow. I love, in fact, I have one exactly like this at home for one of my fosters. And he actually really loves the loft. Up and down. He goes crazy. Yep. And, uh, yep, you got this. Yeah. These are really nice. Yes, they were very generous in donating. Yeah. You know, they gave me a, they gave me a code. So it's a 10% off code. It's just Scotty 10, all caps. But if you want to share it with people, if they come in and they're like, and or if you run out or whatever, just... Yeah, Scotty 10. Scotty 10 gets you 10% off the cavi cages. Which will pay for shipping or tax or whatever. Hello there, welcome. Now I have ca I have camera envy now. How are you? Thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. I've been running all over, so... And, and what are you day. with? Yeah. Channel 8. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Do you mind if I... I'm, I'm just... Cool. So, Finelli, you're going to be on TV? Maybe. Maybe if I say the right thing. I'm not from San Diego, so what's Channel 8? CBS. CBS? That's the big one. That's awesome. Okay, Fenella, well, I'll just leave you to it, and uh, we'll wrap this up. But how about that? We got in even before the news. So if you're in San Diego, come come check out We Companions. Check out their new adoption center. It's their new uh, shelter. Tons of piggies. And uh, or you can go to the original location for free health checks. I did a tour before of the other location, so why don't I put that right here? You can check out the original location, and you can see some fun shenanigans and more vanilla. You can never have too much vanilla. There's definitely a need.